everyone, this is Tracy Austin from The Tracy Austin Show, and I just wanted to thank everyone who's been tuning in and watching our shows over the last few weeks. Uh, we are grateful of your support and, of course, um, watching every show that we, we make and we air, and uh, for taking a look at our website as well with uh, new material on our website. So we greatly thank you for that. We have a brand new show coming out on Thursday, October the 20th. And this is about Men in Black. It's a Men in Black episode. episode. We have Nick Redfern, who is uh, back in the studio with us, talking about one of his uh, great subjects, who are the Men in Black. Nick will reveal information about who he feels the Men in Black are. I actually never had a Men in Black sighting, but I did have a Man in Black vehicle sighting in the UK many, many years ago. And I do share that on the show, so do stay tuned for that one. That is October the 20th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube and also at the Tracy Austin Show. But the reason why I just also wanted to connect with you guys today is uh, to let you know about Alien Encounters in the Western United States. This is a book I wrote in 2012. And there may be some of you out there who are not familiar with the book, but um, it does cover nine true accounts of alien encounters. And I have to say, a very dear friend of mine, Dr. Roger Lear, which I'm sure many of you know, sadly passed away in March of 2014. So it's almost three years in March of next year. And um, boy, did that man teach me a lot of stuff. Um, he shared many things with me and um, he was very enlightening on a lot of his material. So for that, I am forever grateful. Um, there's not a day goes by that I don't actually think about Dr. Roger Lear. Uh, I miss him greatly. And um, I truly loved Roger for the person that he was and for everything he did for the subject of ufology. And I know that man is missed by many, many people. I did ask Roger to write an episode in my book, Alien Encounters in the Western United States. And he did. He graciously did that. And I'm not sure if you know that Roger had removed 17 implants up to his death in March of 2014. And um, he shares those encounters with me in the book, along with photographs as well. And Roger was, at first, a skeptic about alien implants. Um, Roger is a podiatrist by profession, and has, as, as I said, surgically removed 17 suspected alien in implants. And um, one of which I was present for, the removal of one in California back in, I can't remember the exact year, but it was either 2003, 2004. And it was removing one of these objects from an airline stewardess's arm. And um, when this thing was removed, she, like many, many abductees, said the same thing, that she felt a whole new sense of freedom once they had been removed. So um, I'd like you to take a look at the book. Uh, here it is again, Alien, Incl Alien Encounters in the Western United States. And uh, Roger has written a chapter in there along with photographs. And I have some encounters in there that Roger removed alien implant, Im sorry, implants from people's bodies. So do take a look at that and uh, do stay tuned for the next show. And if you have any questions, please write to me at info at thetracyaustinshow.com. And I'd be happy to reply. So take care and we'll see you at the next show. Bye-bye.